Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this new video. This time I want to show you how to fix a super annoying problem when using VMware and trying to install a Windows or Microsoft virtual machine. So as you can see here, I am using VMware. I believe this is VMware player version 15 or 17. I forgot the version that I'm running on this thing, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And this problem even happens with VMware workstation sometimes. So just um, just to give it a heads up. So what you need to do when, you, when you're when you trying to install a Windows virtual machine using VMware, in the, again, in this case, I'm using VMware Player, and you go through the setup process once you download the ISO and create the virtual machine, you're going to see that it's going to tell you that Windows cannot find the Microsoft license software. And it's going to stop there. You're not going to be able to do anything. The reason for that is because Windows, when you set up the ISO and you connect the ISO in the VMware, it's trying to communicate with the Microsoft license software that doesn't see. So it's going to be prompting this problem. Now, there is a quick, easy workaround for this, and it's super simple. So let me do it. The, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn off this virtual machine, and I'm going to create a new one because the problem needs to be dealt with right from the beginning. So I'm going to do shut down guest, it's shutting down, and now I'm going to bring up VMware one more time. I'm, I'm going to go through the process of creating a new virtual machine. Okay, so I'm here at the point where I'm going to be creating a new virtual machine, and I'm going to click on create new uh, virtual machine. And notice that the default option, and this is what we all do, this is what I used to do until this annoying problem started happening, we all point to the ISO right from the get-go. And this is a no-no for this uh you know, if you want to avoid this problem. So what you need to do here when you create a virtual machine, you're going to click on, I will install the operating system later. And you create, wh what's going to happen is that you're going to create the virtual hardware first on your VM, on your hypervisor, and then you are going to mount the ISO file to the CD-ROM. So let's do that. Let me do next. And in this case, you have to uh, specify what operating system you're going to be using. Again, this problem, I've only seen it with, with Microsoft. I've never had any problem with Linux. But in this case, we're working with Microsoft, and you have to select the version of the operating system. To be honest with you, this is not, you know, you could select any other, perhaps, version. If you're using Windows Server 2016 ISO, and you select Windows Server 2019, it's not going to be a big deal. The reason why this happens is because the depending on the platform that you use, VMware is going to automatically assign default hardware settings for that based on the minimum hardware requirements. So uh, I'm going to select Windows Server 2019. I'm going to click on Next. Uh, you have to name it, right? So I'm going to name it uh, 2 because the first one failed. And you have to point to the location of the file for VMware. I'm going to leave it as the default. I'm going to click Next. And you have to uh, specify the um, uh, the uh, hard drive for this uh, operating system, for this system. I'm going to click Next. And again, I'm not configuring anything else other than that. As you can imagine, you can click on Hardware and configure all this. But I'm not going to do it at this moment. So I'm going to click on Finish. So once you do it, right, you see that we have our new VMware here. You click on uh, Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And if you go to uh, CD, DVD, SATA, you are going to notice that there is nothing in there because we didn't configure the, I the ISO file. So in this case, it's where you're going to select Use ISO Image File, and then you are going to search for that file in your whatever location you have it. So I have it right here. I'm going to click on Open. I'm going to click on OK. Hold on a second. OK, so I clicked on the OK. And now if I go back to Edit Virtual Machine Settings, 
you don't have to do that but and if you go to CD DVD you're gonna see that you're pointing to it and now I'm gonna click on play virtual machine and it's gonna go through the installation option so I'm just gonna do click oh I missed my press any key to install So I'm just going to uh, restart. And enabled. And this is going to go through the installation process as it did before. And I'm going to pause the video here until it gets to that point. And I'll show you that the system is going to go through with no problem. Okay, so here we have the Windows installation options. So I'm gonna click Next and Install Now. And if you've had this problem, you remember that right at that window screen, that's when you had the issue of not finding the license server. I hope this video was useful to you. If you liked what you see, just click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you on the next video. Have an amazing rest of the day.